The Inazuma 11 Victory Road Beta has been out for a few days now, so it feels like an appropriate time to list the 5 best players for you to use on your online ranked teams. Now obviously this is only going to apply to this current update because we don't know what could get patched or changed in future editions of the beta. So do bear with if you're watching this however far into the future. I've chosen these players based off of what seems to be the meta right now. So what you'll see is a lot of players designed to counter the most popular goalkeeper in Mark, and a lot of players making use of passives that increase their breach chance. Breach is this game's version of a critical hit, where basically you can completely destroy a goalkeeper's KP bar outright without having to whittle it down. It's like a 10% chance, but that chance can be increased by certain skills and obviously it's quite an overpowered ability so the best players increase that breach chance. Yes that may not be the most fun or moral way to play the game but at the end of the day increasing your breach chance increases your chance of scoring a goal so the best players increase your breach chance. Without further ado let's dive into the five best players to use. First up I've got Jack Wallside. Now I didn't want to make this video just oh the best forwards or midfielders to use and so I wanted to include at least one defender and my choice is Jack. In order for a defender to be viable in this game they've kind of got to have a shot block and obviously the way that goalkeeping is done with the castle walls, shot blocking is a super useful tool, especially considering how fast players can set up their zones and mean it that you can't really use a defensive move to tackle. Jack here has the wall, which is obviously a shot block, as well as having a decent dribble and zigzag spark. As you can see, four of his passives are castle wall based, which is really helpful when you're trying to stop the ball from going in your net. And his stats are also crazy as he sports a super high pressure stat and as you can see pressure influences how well a defender performs for the number four slot i've gone with two players who are kind of linked they're basically a duo it's gazelle and torch both of these players have defensive moves alongside their main shot so gazelle has land of ice and torch has solar surprise which means they can work quite well both as forwards and even midfielders if you want to play them a bit further down the defensive move also means that if you play them as forwards they can win the ball up quite high then if we look at their element gazelle Gazelle is wind, which means he counters Mark, who is the most common keeper in the game, obviously being Earth Element, while Torch is fire, which means that he counters Darren and can serve as the Darren counter on your team, when you consider that especially a lot of the best forwards are wind element. But the main reason why I'm choosing particularly Gazelle and Torch is their breach-based passives. Gazelle here gives you a plus 20% breach rate uh, for being a top player, whilst also lowering the amount of tension required to breach a legendary. Meanwhile, Torch does the same kind of things, but with different percentages, and he gets the team breach rate plus one at legendary, and the lowering tension required at top. From what I've found, they're really good players to play in that midfield. They can win the ball and have their passives influence your game. But speaking of midfield, let's talk about who is probably the best midfielder in the game, and that's Aphrodite. And again, a large part of that is down to his passives. His top player passive is when even or trailing in goals, team's breach rate is plus 20%. And then his legendary one, his tension required for team's breach is minus 25%. Again, he's influencing that breach rate. Then what Aphrodite also has is some really good stats, which are quite balanced, as well as having two of the strongest moves in the game, Heaven's Time and God Knows. I don't have God Knows unlocked yet, but trust me, that is his other one. And what that also means is because God Knows is a win shot, it counters Mark, who, like we said, is the most common keeper in the game. He's all around just a really strong player with some great passes. And in a game where it almost feels like you can often bypass midfielders, he's probably the best one for you to have. My number two pick is Xanark. He's here for a completely different reason to everyone else, and that's down purely to his element. He is Earth which means there's no keeper in the game currently who resists him. He's neutral against Darren and Mark, and he's strong against Devalin and Sam. And add on top of that, the disaster strikes a pretty strong shot generally, and you've got yourself one hell of a forward. I could definitely see Xanark becoming less viable if they were to introduce a wind goalkeeper, but right now, he's just a really good option to have. He's reliable, which in this current meta, no other player really feels like they are. And finally, my number one has to be Biolon. We've got to start off by talking about Bylong's passives, namely the fact he has breach based ones. Team's breach rate plus 20% to top player, and at legendary, when even or trailing in goals, team's breach rate is plus 30%. Then, on top of that, his kick stat is absolutely monumental. He's got two very good Hizatsus in Dragon Drive and Wind's God Dance. 
and he's a wind element player, which means that he counters Mark, who again is the most common keeper in the game. Yes, it's annoying that Darren counters him, but his breach based passives and his really high kick stat means that no matter what, he's a great option to have on the field. And there we go. That's the five players, well, technically six, but five players that I recommend you should use in your Inazuma 11 Victory Road team if you want to go for that super meta team. But obviously, at the end of the day, Inazuma 11 is about using your favorite players. So if you want to disregard everything I've said and use exclusively Bomber and no one else, go for it. But to be fair, Bomber does have breach based passives, so I guess he technically is meta, but that's besides the point. Anyway, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.